Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Wildermyth The Enduring War. <clears throat> I believe we're about done. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You guys should secure the site. Find me an item. And there we go. Oh, yep, that's fine. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I keep uh, keep trying to scroll away to go look at the other part of the map, and then they keep doing things. Stop doing things. Don't stop doing things, actually. Um, uh, who was it? One of these two, I think I was trying to make more melee focused. I can't remember which. Um, so I'll give it to Analia. It might have been somebody else. The trouble with only doing this every once in a while. All right. Uh, go scout, guys. Okay. Uh, strength 8, Lurking more foggy, but I think we've managed something like this before. Let's go. All the sweltering stars. Our stars climb high tonight. Oh, are those ones ours? Anyways, climbing around our little stars. It's a good omen. Yeah? What's in an omen of? I can't really tell you what they mean, specifically. I also think maybe... I mean, maybe listening is the point. Quieting yourself enough to hear the voice of existence. Used to be a rhyme, but... about blue jays and the beautiful strangers, but I forget the... Oh boy. 5% to try to rem have Romdro try to remember a story. 26% for Quidney to interpret a sign. 45% for Adele. Maybe I do wonder what does... Does she see something I don't? These are all bad percentage chances. So let's go with Quidney. Why not? What's the... <laughs> I, I have no idea what the outcomes of this could be. Gazing up a long while, Quidney sighs to see no familiar shape among sprays and constellations. Nothing she knows a name for, no point to pin a dream on. Stars can be a lot like hill folk, full of unspeakable languages. We search and we search, for reason and meaning, we ache and wonder. But meanings are often as faint as the grayest glims behind the darkness. So presumably, nothing really happened, but I did get uh, whatever was whatever the 26% chance was for, it didn't happen, I should say. Uh, plus one armor and warding this battle. That'll be good. Weldling and a butler, two sommelier, a watchman, two batchbees, six spectics. Okay. Let's see, I can steal fire. I can bone lance. Go a little further, and I think I can. Yeah, okay. Let's go a little bit up this way. This is a Splinter Blaster Wild Grasp. Or Discus. Let's go with the Splinter Blast. And go. Darn you, butler. Sure, throw a knife at that guy. Get him poisoned. Good. I do have priority targets. They are frequently uh, the butler. 
Okay, butler's down. So now let's grab that. Back up a little bit, and bone lance. That way. Fantastic. What a shot. Took out the batch B2. Alright. Nice block, Ramdra. Poison it, so now it'll die, and then we can focus fire on the Watchman. Yeah. Oh, come on. You guys. There. That's how it's done. Rom will show you. Okay, let's move to the gate. managed to forget that this party was all hunters. <laughs> it's alright. Hello, Spectic. What can I interfuse with? Let's grab the pot. Okay. I could do a Shardnado. Neat. Oh, the, oh, the Chardonnay... Oh, okay. Alright. So I don't actually want to move through it because it is currently Chard Chardonnay-wing. Did you just... Well done, Quidney. It's okay. The uh, good thing about having a party like this is that they're entirely ranged, and I don't actually need to move through the Chardonnay, though. Except insofar as the enemies might not know where I am, and I do need them to come to me. Okay, lasso Chardonnay. Move it through. This is really cool. I've never done this Chardonnay before. That extended char sil uh, s silk step is also really cool. Well, I guess you can't one-shot uh, Batch Bees every... one-shot the enemy every single turn. Could you move up closer? Eh... Not by much. Okay. Here's the Weldling. Sounds good. And it kills a weldling. Perfect. And there we go. That's it, right? I think that's it. Perfect. Do 
tier two. No need. Ah, uh, it's bound to show up eventually. All right, coachman. Have to just deal with it, I guess. All right, guys, find me an item. Fantastic. What do we got? Some extra health, huh? Well, again, I think an uh, Analia is the one I was trying to make kind of a uh, melee hunter. All right, here it comes. Here's the incursion. It is. It is indeed going straight through that way. Perfect. Um. Okay. Um. Disband you guys. And then... guys come do that and then I uh, gather okay defenses and literally everybody else all right come at me dudes I'm ready for you <laughs> okay here we go uh, Harry their approach All right, three spec ticks. There's a coachman. Oh boy, a Batchby, a Weldling. At least there's not a butler with it. A watchman and a two sommelier. And we've got. Oh, hello. There's the coachman. Uh, I don't actually want you here. Can you? You can come down. You're a regular farmer guy. chance. That makes sense. Okay, so there's no door out this side. So that's good to know. There's a door there, and there's a big door back here. Okay, so let's see. Adele, you come this way. Open the door. What do we see? The Weldling and a bunch of Spectics. Pegrit, come down to this door. I can't quite make it. Okay, so Jimbo, come down and open the door. There's the thing. What can you interfuse? Only stuff inside from there. All right. All right, not much for it, but to have all them run up this way. of my hunters back here shooting at them. There we go. Killed the Weldling at least. Um, farmer, come this way. You can kind of, I don't know, stand by the door. 
don't plan on using you much. The trouble with having this many heroes in one fight um, is, of course, that the, the game kind of slows down a little bit, because it's, it's a lot for the poor game to try to keep track of. Alright, and then... Nalia, you come this way. Okay, can I get both of them? Oh, uh, just, just barely. Can't. Alright, Coachman. Take some, some arrow damage. Alright, so, Tolma, the thing is... Definitely coming through the barrier if we don't do something about it this turn, so... Let's distract it by being outside. Thank you, Zealous Leap. That is unfortunate. Alright, Maya, go back up Jimbo and Pegret. Nice. Nice! The people you don't expect the stunts from, those are the ones who give you the stunts. Ooh, I get scalding rain from this thing. Oh, not that one. Must have been... Oh, there's a bucket behind it. Sure. Okay. Well... The bucket's what I actually wanted. Okay. Ramdra. Let's see, I've got... One, two, three down there. One, two... Three, four up there, and three over there. Bigger threat seems to be down here, though, so... I'm gonna just come down here. Okay. Ow. Good, good, good dodge. Thank you for dodging that. Oh, good lord. Yeah, there it comes. Yeah, it charges through barriers and then throws my people away around. Which is... I do not appreciate. Good job, Jimbo. Random farmer, can you hit it? No. Scalding rain on the... no. Darn. Well... I need that thing dead, so Toma kill it. can do for me. And get both of them. Perfect. That's what I was hoping. Alright, farmer, you don't even need to do anything. Steal fire from the nearest lamp and kill that thing. Thank you. And then I've got this watchman to deal with.
Nice, nice hit. Just go stand by the spawn point. We're going to camp. We're going to camp this spawn point. <laughs> shape. Obviously there's no enemies left. Now there's enemies. Four more sommeliers, three more spectics, and another batch B. Hi guys. <laughs> Two more sommeliers. Jimbo's, Jimbo's just gonna like murder everything over here. Archers are going to kill things over here. Yeah, I brought more than enough people to this. In fact, I might have to bring to have Tolma retreat a bit because he took a lot of damage there. Okay, you can hold, you can hold there. Tolma, go ahead and fall back a bit because you're hurting. Silk step with you, and you're gonna fall back a little ways. Well, here. We're gonna interfuse with the low wall, and then we're gonna fall back a little ways. Butler, three more spectics and a watchman. Do you think they survived long enough to do anything? Taking all bets. This guy. Wild crash the butler. Now, well, Jimbo can't kill all three of them at once. Or could he? I think he actually could now that I think about it. If he stood here, he'd hit all three of all of them because they'd all be adjacent. Well, he didn't kill all of them, so... Mm, I don't think there's anything that uh, Pegart can do, except that. Butler's down. Discus the Watchman stood in the wrong spot. It chose poorly. And Avidem, go, go this way. There we go. All right, Jimbo, finish it. Perfect.
Sure, why not? Oh goodness, a groundskeeper. I don't have to deal with groundskeepers very often. So I don't know what they do. Okay, I think uh, since everybody's in one place and there's two locations left to go, I'm just going to have one team take on the entire rest of the map. So let's see. Um, Jimbo and Pegret are kind of a given. So I should probably bring Alm and Maya. And then... I feel like Ramdra. Ramdra's been kind of with us since the beginning. The others are, you know, they're fine. So, yeah. Let's go, guys. Creepiest Creeps. This is from the Memories of the Past mod. Star of Kobe is quiet, but the silence is taut and breath-holdingly tense. There are a lot of Thrixel that give me the creeps, but you know which kind is the worst? <clears throat> so Alm breaks the silence. Aside from that big one planting trees, the hand-faced ones, Tolma calls them muses. The idea that one of them could make me hurt Jimbo, or him me, I think that's the worst thing. Worse than dying, or even Jimbo dying. Jimbo dying and me waking from the days to know that it was my hand. Oh, uh, sorry. That's a more serious answer than mine. I was going to say the two-headed ones, because the heads are always trash-talking me to each other. The two-headed ones. I don't think we've got muses right now. We do have a Draythix. It steps fluidly, sedately, fa fanning its wings, surrounding itself in an odor of dead flowers. And I don't like them, because they poison me. That said... How about I poison you first? Just a lot of a lot of these things around. Good. Alright, it's poison with three, and it's got four health left. Because, of course, it does. Alright. In that case, double poison. Alright, so it's gonna die, the Seeker is gonna die. Dweaver's dead. The other Dweaver's going to die. Is it? No, it's not going to die. It's got poison three, because it's dodged the other one. Okay. There we go. All right. That was half of them, and I killed them before they could do anything, which is always how I prefer to do this. Alright, Maya. Door. Yes, go a little bit ahead. Uh -huh. Actually, swap weapon. And then shoot this big thing. Perfect. Jimbo, can you finish it up? Finish it off. <laughs> Alright. 
Integrit. Got the textile here. And we're going to constrict on the thrust further away. Good. Ohm can come up and around and Guardian. Sentinel, rather. And Romdra can come up and interfuse with... Actually, withdraw from the other thing, because we're not going to need it. And then go ahead and interfuse with the stump. If I need to blind something, I can. I know there's another... more stuff back there. Again, there we go, and then go ahead, Ramdra, and just move up. Okay, here come the Dweavers. There's the Draythix. I knew there was another one of you guys. All right, let's tag Heroism so we can move up, and then Quelling Moss all three of them, and then. Throw a knife at the Draythix, and then shoot it. Ah, that was almost per- oh, hang on, you're still heroismed. Now shoot it. There we go. How much poison did I get on that? Seven. It's pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Okay, and then Ramdra. Let's grab a discus. Draythix is going down. Uh, just a lamp flare. Well, it's still something. Ah, oh, the one that I needed to be blinded as it survived. Oh well. I've killed those two things. Hi. You're behind me now. Pegrit's gonna kill you with his staff. How do you like that? Hey! Ooh, extra warding. Yeah, let's do that. Go Ramdra. Better stunt chance for Maya. In our wake. Someday people will move back to Star of Kobe. Thrixel husks will fall apart and their fog will blow wet far away. Children will find homes for spirits here. Young women will build barns alongside their sweethearts. Old women will trade in iron and salt. And at the end, the oldest will die peacefully in their beds, the way it should be. You seem quite keen on it all, thinking of staying? It's too late for me. Adventure's been stirred into my blood. The best we can do is keep moving and hope to leave peace in our wake. Yay! Pegart and Maya are inspired! All right. Um, sure. Find a debt. Find a find an item. Why not? And they get a wardrobe. Sure. I'll just fight the Morthog at their strongest. What what the hell? 
Okay. More accuracy. Maya, I want you very accurate. Okay. Let's go patrol, because it's the final fight, so I want them... There's going to be more than just the enemies. I don't need need them having extra help. Alright. Here we go. Oh, right. The hour looms. When we stand as one force, one vision, and scrape this curse off of our land for good. Blades in which are ready yourselves. All right. <laughs> it's uh, taking its time loading. All right, so I think you're good on that. Let's see. Stone. Let's give you a stone axe. Yeah, that'll be fine. Jimbo, you're mostly using this thing. So let's get you another level on that. Yes. Yes, let's definitely upgrade your artifact. And also your bow. And then Pegret. Hmm. Seven legacy points. How many do I have? 35? That is a lot. I'll just do a regular upgrade. Two legacy points I can I can handle. Good lord, nine. Um That's what happens when I don't have enough heartwoods, I guess. You know, I think we're good. I think this will be good. Rum just doing enough damage as it, as it is. Here we go. Stemming the tide. I had paid the price. I had prepared... <laughs> I am not reading this right. I had been prepared to pay a price for the form I took. A price of flesh and breath. But it cost more than that. It cost peace. It cost the person I loved most. And though Nensa and I never spoke again, perhaps the rest of this can still be put to right. In the days when the flood of Morthagi had slowed to a trickle, Mai was able to locate openings in the cliffs. I've seen a lot of things in my life, but this is a whole new sort of thing. It's not your average mountain. Tunnel fortress sort of place, is it? This isn't just a place. It watches you. One could never be alone here. With stone and iron and bone closing in. It can feel unlucky to be made of softer things. But we have strength of our own. Which should not be underestimated. Okay, groundskeeper. Patient legs trundle its towering chambers around. Acrid vapor vapors cloud that turn eyes to swamps minute minds to haze the coachman it tilts and trembles never still loping into a mighty gallop the shrill of saws and thunder of feet deafening and the wardrobe the scream of metal and snap of bone echo from its rusty guts as the massive chamber quakes okay gotta explore the tunnels oh hi there's a wardrobe right there um Well, why did you guys start back there? Uh, let's see, if you move out of the way, 
that lets all of them get close enough. Perfect. Alright. So that's dead. We'll move Jimbo as far as he can go. Pegret comes up behind. Ramdra. And Maya. Okay, here comes the butler, who has seen me. Just in case you don't die. Alright, the trouble with, uh... I've brought right now is that um, there's nothing to interfuse with over here. But you can still soul shot. Ah! <laughs> I'll just make a tree. There we go. Oh no, it's the coachman. Thank you for blocking and warding that. That was good. That was a good. Good job. Perfect. Hmm. That coachman's going to cause trouble for me. Let's see what I can do about it. Four poison. Yes, okay, Coachman's dead. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Poison and try to murder the thing. Om. All right, one damage and two shred. Ugh. Okay, hopefully the acid wears off s Oh, goodness. <laughs> hopefully it wears off relatively soon. Oh, my God. All right, how am I... Uh... Let's just silk step, and then... Pegger, you can move up. There's not a whole lot as can be done. I don't want to move through the acid any more than I have to. Oh, good. Only lasted a turn. Alright, Ramdra, time to start moving up. Good job, Maya. Regards. Clump. What now? Oh, wait, it's you. We promised aid after all you had done for us, and we keep promises. 
Edda sends her regards. The bell hops. Edda sent some bell hops to help us. It's so nice of her. Once I hit the blue thing, the next bit of story will happen. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's a door. Okay, in that case, everybody move up to the door. That's as far as I need to go. But no further, not opening the door until we're all in position. And that could take a while. Jimbo and Pegret don't move like they used to. Neither does Romdro, for that matter. move Pegret up and then let's move Maya up and Silk Step and Ramdra move as far up as you can then Jimbo move as far up as you can which lands on the door space yeah, okay, I had a feeling. The core. As Alm reached for the door, its eyes snapped onto him and it groaned open by itself. Oh dear. It could be debated whether the heaving multi-part construction before them was alive, but it wouldn't matter. Life was a quaint concept in this place. The Morthagi core. Shuddering pipes and pounding gears fill your brain to bursting. To lesser cores. Inside its glass chambers, an infernal stew of bones and gears churns out new forms. A well laying two Somalias and a batch bee. And those guys are in front of me. Okay. Okay, and it just pulled it did pull it pulled everybody forward. Okay, so that's good at least. Alright, um duck inside. Hit the well blank. Jimbo. Duck further inside. Kill the Weldling as you go past with uh, whatever that was. The Batch Bee. Hagrid. It just dies. Okay. Um, we can Bone Lance. Let's Bone Lance. Stunning barrage. Can we get both? Yes. All right, bell hops. Let's get you guys even, and I think I'm going to send you two and Tylf. I think I'm going to try to send them towards the lesser core over here, and. Uh, See if they can take it out. I don't think they need to take out the lesser core, but it can't hurt. Nice. Four poison, eight health total. Alright, who hasn't gone? The bell but the I forgot about that sommelier. Oh well. Alright. Right. 
Right, the nurses. Oh god, I don't like the nurses. A new weldling. So the nurses can repair the cores. Which is fine. I think that core is going to die before the nurse gets a chance. down. Bellboys. <laughs> right, you grapple things. I forgot how you guys work. You don't do damage so much as grapple them. So you're definitely not going to be uh, taking that out on your own. Okay, let's see. Can Pegret shackle the lesser core? Yeah, four damage. He wasn't moving anyway, but hey, four damage is four damage. And it might not matter because I might just kill this main core and I think that might end it. core down. Alright, that was fantastic. Lesser core down. <laughs> we'll just have Maya continuously shoot everything. <laughs> and the main core is down. A little anticlimactic, maybe, but Maya just utterly destroyed everything right there at the very end. Still and silent. The walk back out was darker, but the ceilings didn't collapse on us. And without their maddened voice to call them, the things that were once Morthagi fell still and silent. Some were burned. Some were buried. A few were repurposed. So, what are you going to do now, then? The Yandering Lands are a bit sour on mechanical folk at the moment. It would be wise to lie low. But it's another few hundred years, after all. The End We won! Alm gathered as many of the company's stories as he could and enlisted Quidney to illustrate them. Ahem. <laughs> Taking some artistic liberties there, are we? One day, Quidney awoke with a lightness in her step. I understand now. It all makes sense. She vanished for ten years and returned, somehow unaged and full of sorrow. Inspired by what she had seen of the Morthagi, Maya set up a tinkering workshop and built impressive clockwork sculptures. No souls were harmed in their making, and the sculptures never tried to kill anyone. Avidem became a fixture at Mursher. He could be found in the square most days, swapping outrageous stories and giving advice, whether it was asked for or not. Adele built a lodge that attracted like-minded hunting enthusiasts. Days were spent tracking in the woods, and nights were spent exaggerating what they had tracked in the woods. Oh yeah, the statue of the hippo god thing. Ramja's dream of her own personal research tower had finally been fulfilled. She kept it well stocked with monster parts floating in jars of colored liquid, to impress any other visiting mystics, of course. Grayley took up the Mandalute and convinced a few others to form a band. We could call ourselves the Raven's Assembly, you know, since it's not being used anymore. No. Toma got up to see the sunrise every morning. Often he insisted on company. 
Not all eyes were born to gaze upon the same thing, at the same extremities of the day. Shh, Quidney, breathe it in. We can't take a single day for granted. Analia developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. They may not have quite matched their former glory, but she hoped the former inhabitants wouldn't be too embarrassed. There were days Pegrid and Jimbo felt far apart, during small errands or when they got to dwelling in distances unremembered. Brought you back a star strawberry box, and I got loose over tall candles. But they never stopped returning to each other, down roads and across fields of memory. Do you think if none of this had happened, we would still have ended up together? You can make yourself crazy with what ifs. We're here now. That's what matters. Oh yeah, Edda and the leaf guy turned it on Ramdra. Jimbo and Pegrit could never fully abandon their adventuring life. While the danger had dimmed, there were memories yet to be made. Want me to cook? Bring the pan over. Oh, and your bag. You said there was a hole. You know it's just us. I'll cook. You're the only one I'd do it for now. And that's it. Adding Marn, Ramdra, Eda, Alm, Quidney, Tolma, Avidem, and Odell to my legacy. All right, who can I? Who should I promote? I think I should promote Jimbo to three, and I should promote Pegret to three, and then Maya can go up to two. Um, I think I want to promote Ada because she sacrificed herself, and that's pretty pretty interesting. And then I have one more, and I think it's going to go to Ramdra because she lasted the whole game. Yay! Out of curiosity, um... Let's see, I still need a Leaf Axe. still need two Specialist Spears. And that's it! Those are the only elemental weapons I haven't unlocked yet. And there we go! That was the Enduring War! So next time, if I play this again, we'll probably do the next one, The Monarchs Under the Mountain. Uh, just out of curiosity. Um, and again, I don't think most of the rest of these, I don't think they... Um, um, allow me to take legacy characters from the start, for the most part. So we'll have to see... I'll have to see if I feel like do... if I want to do... Same thing where I bring Pegret and then try to recruit Jimbo immediately. That could probably work. It, it well, it depends if I get to bring any legacy characters at the start or not. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm probably going to take a bit of a break from Wildermyth for a, for a little while. Um, I'm actually going on vacation next week anyway, so good timing. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this whole journey. I really, again, I really love this game. Um, I love the little stories, I love the little character moments, and all the people that you can learn, get to meet, and see how they interact and stuff. It's, and the tactics. I love the tactics. So, uh, yeah. I'm sure I'll play another, another of the campaigns on the channel, um, once I decide how I want to do it. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye!